Dallas Willard, a philosophy professor at the University of Southern California, wrote The Divine Conspiracy, Rediscovering Our Secret Life in God as a Christian Spiritual Development Book. The book, which was released in 1998, is widely considered as a classic in the subject of Christian spirituality. Willard's book The Divine Conspiracy aims to address the issue of spiritual change in the modern society. He contends that Jesus' teachings, notably the Sermon on the Mount, offer a deep and transforming vision of human existence that current Christianity has largely overlooked. Willard believes the Church has limited Christianity to a series of laws and rituals rather than a living and transformational relationship with God. The book is broken into two parts. Willard's concept of the Christian life as a spiritual transformation journey is laid out in the first part. He contends that a continuing and deep relationship with God is the key to this development. Willard thinks that only by taking seriously Jesus' teachings, which he regards as a holistic vision for human existence, can Christians genuinely experience transformation. The book's second portion concentrates on the practical issues of living the Christian life. Willard delves into a variety of spiritual disciplines, including as prayer, meditation, fasting, study, and service, and demonstrates how these practices may help Christians establish a stronger connection with God. He also gives guidance on how to incorporate these skills into daily life. Willard highlights the significance of comprehending the kingdom of God as the major focus of Jesus' teachings throughout the book. He contends that the kingdom of God is a current reality that believers may experience in the here and now, rather than a future reality. Willard also emphasizes the importance of the church as a community of believers who assist and encourage one another on their spiritual transformation path. One of the central themes of the divine conspiracy is the notion that Christians are supposed to be disciples of Jesus rather than merely believers. According to Willard, Discipleship entails not just believing in Jesus, but also following his teachings and living out his vision for human existence. He maintains that the Christian life is about living a life that is entirely aligned with God's plan, not only getting into heaven. In chapter 1, Willard argues that the modern world is plagued by spiritual darkness and that Christians need to take seriously the spiritual warfare that is taking place around them. He asserts that the teachings of Jesus offer a way to overcome this darkness and experience transformation. In chapter 2, Willard criticizes the modern church for reducing Christianity to a set of rules and rituals designed to manage sin. He argues that this approach misses the transformative power of the teachings of Jesus and the kingdom of God. In chapter 3, Willard defines the divine conspiracy as the ongoing work of God in the world to bring about the kingdom of God. He asserts that this work is not just a future reality, but a present one that Christians can experience through their relationship with God. In chapter 4, Willard explores the teachings of Jesus on rest and the burden of the law. He argues that the easy yoke of Jesus is a call to a life of spiritual transformation and rest in God's love. In chapter 5, Willard emphasizes the importance of recognizing the kingdom of God in the midst of daily life. He asserts that the kingdom of God is not a distant reality, but a present one that Christians can experience in their daily interactions with others. In chapter 6, Willard explores the concept of eternal life as a present reality that Christians can experience through their relationship with God. He argues that eternal life is not just a future reality, but a present one that Christians can experience in the here and now. In chapter 7, The Righteousness of the Kingdom Heart. Willard explores the teachings of Jesus on the righteousness of the kingdom heart. He argues that righteousness is not just about following rules, but about cultivating a heart that is fully aligned with God's will. In chapter 8, Being a Disciple. Willard emphasizes the importance of being a disciple of Jesus, not just a believer. He argues that discipleship involves not only believing in Jesus, but also following his teachings and living out his vision for human life. In chapter 9, Willard explores the cost of discipleship and the sacrifices that are required to follow Jesus. He argues that the rewards of discipleship far outweigh the costs. In chapter 10, Willard emphasizes the importance of the community of believers in the Christian life. 
he argues that the church is a community of prayerful love that supports and encourages one another on the journey of spiritual transformation. In chapter 11, Willard explores the transformative power of the Holy Spirit in the Christian life. He argues that the Holy Spirit is the key to experiencing the kingdom of God and living out the fullness of the Christian life. In chapter 12, Willard offers practical advice on the spiritual disciplines that can help Christians cultivate a deeper relationship with God. He explores a range of disciplines, including prayer, meditation, fasting, study, and service. In chapter 13, Willard explores the concept of living with the end in mind. He argues that Christians should live with a focus on the future reality of the kingdom of God, even as they experience it in the present. Overall, The Divine Conspiracy is a thought-provoking and uplifting book that provides a new viewpoint on Christian spirituality. Willard's view of the Christian life as a spiritual journey led by Jesus' teachings and supported by the community of believers is both profound and practical. Anybody who wishes to develop their connection with God and live out the fullness of the Christian life should read this book.